Welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Zai Tong, and look who's here. IRL, the one, the only, Jay Ingram. BTW, fun to be back. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay, of course, it's our pleasure. And Dan is away in Germany this week for the big Discovery special that airs on Wednesday night. And of course, it's about the Rosetta mission that will take place in two days when a lander will land on the surface of a moving comet. It's hard to overestimate just how huge a scientific and engineering feat this is. Really looking forward to that. However, today's show right here on Daily Planet isn't too shabby either. We're going to find out what's up with this talented sea lion off the coast of Mexico hitching a ride on a boat. And we'll check out a high-tech way of giving you super human strength. Oh, yeah, but we're kicking things off today with a high-speed race with big drama. It's just that the vehicles taking part in that race are kind of kiddie-sized. Okay, coming up, pumping cinder blocks. <laughs> with a do-it-yourself exoskeleton. 170 pounds. That's next. Lucky me, I've got my very own Iron Man in the studio right now, Canadian superhero James Hobson. And James, you made this really incredible exoskeleton and you're about to lift some serious weight right now. We're talking 205 pounds. So before we get started, just, just go right ahead and I want to see you actually lift this. Okay, everybody, just like that. Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow. So first of all, I mean, I guess I have to ask you, what gave you the idea for coming up with this exosuit? Uh, comic books. Comic books, huh? Movies, everything. And then how, I mean, how did you afford to make this? Because this is typically something you'd see <laughs> DARPA making, not just sort of like a backyard invention. Uh, this one, to be honest, is actually mostly made out of scraps. Um, a friend gave me the pneumatic cylinders, picked up some steel, pretty cheap, and Super threw it together hero. for like a couple hundred bucks, that's all. Superhero strength just from scraps. That is really incredible. So when you were lifting this just now, then, 205 pounds, I mean, what, is, what does that feel like? <laughs> well, I, I do feel it because obviously I don't have any leg support in this, so my body is still taking the weight, yeah. except this is the very first prototype. The next one will have full leg support, and basically all the weight picked up will be transmitted directly into the ground. So the pilot, I guess you could say, won't experience anything. Right. Okay. Well, I want to show everybody at home. Like we weren't kidding. This 205 pounds right now. I can. I can't even lift it at all. So now, how did you build this system, this exosuit? Um. Basically, I picked up the metal and I just started playing around with the the basic linkage that you see here for the elbow. Originally, I just had one cylinder, and then I figured I could probably throw another one on there, so that doubled the strength. And the other other fun thing is uh, we're running at half pressure right now. Okay, what so does that mean? It means we could pick up uh, twice the weight, hypothetically. Twice the weight. If we had a more powerful compressor on there, which okay. the future version will have. Now, we do have uh, the fine Mr. Jay Ingram here, of course, right? And so, how much more do you think you can actually lift? Uh, I think we can do 275. 275. So, Jay, come on in. I need your help because I can barely lift anything here. So, why don't you guys add just a little bit more weight to this? 25 each 25 side. 25 each side. And, and, and the, this whole, the whole caboodle. Yep. All right. Okay, now you have never done this before, right, James? I have not. Like, this is going to be a first for you as well. Yep. Okay, let's just see if this works here. Good luck, Jay. Thank you. And here we go, everybody, homemade exosuit. Whoa! Whoa! Absolutely phenomenal stuff. 